This is your Lead Left Vodcast for the week of September 27th. I'm Randy Schwimmer. Welcome back. Even in normal times, private equity sponsors pay ruthless attention to cost structures of their portfolio companies. COVID has raised to new levels the challenges buyers have in managing supply chains. 18 months ago, COVID was a top-line issue. Now it's mostly a cost issue, one partner told us. We can pass price increases along, but with a 90-day notice. That's too long to wait. Another source agreed. We've been playing catch-up all year, he said. Revenues are fine, but costs are out of whack. And here we are, a year later. We thought this would be solved by now. Why is this such a challenge to resolve? Workforce shortages are creating stoppages at every step of the process. Bottlenecks are caused not only from raw material and component shortages, but it's tough finding the equipment that makes the equipment that makes the product. Slowdowns in packaging materials such as plastic, aluminum, and paperboard also contribute to stocking shortfalls. That's forcing companies to re-engineer products and packaging depending on commodity availability. Sponsors confirm that maintaining safety stocks inventory of certain raw materials has increased working capital needs and impacted liquidity. On the labor front, it's not just retention and hiring, but training as well, one friend reported. Onboarding is a huge time commitment. We need to hire 10 people per month, but we have to hire 20 since we'll lose half of them. But it's not just blue collared workers, but it's management, back office, and administrative functions as well being swept into an overheated labor market. But despite these headwinds, sponsored M&A activity remains robust. As one partner put it, higher costs don't seem to be negatively impacting private equity buying appetite. Next week, we wrap up our series with an outlook for supply chains. Reporting from the Blue Collar Shop at the Lead Left, this is Randy Schwimmer, wishing you and your families a safe and healthy week.